Hi guys, Traffic187 here. Welcome back to being just on the edge of HD. <laughs> back to the future. So let's uh, load again. Oh. And it doesn't do the explosion out, which is really annoying. Right, okay. So we have just spotted our guy. Uh, let's have a look at these trash cans, actually. Ew. 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 Okay. You never know what might Cabbage be. crates. Must be for the soup. Just in case we need any of these items. No. No. Right, okay. Let's get our after Ma uh, Marty McFly. Posters. Come on. Come on. Oh, wow. Really? Couldn't load the next scene. Your majestic arms. There's Doc. Hill Valley Expo. That's cool. Let's not talk to Edna. Oh, should we talk to Edna? She might know which way the bus went. She hasn't called us over, so it's not you. Hey, Edna. So. Mr. Crockett, what can I do for you? Uh, I've got a story for you. Nice song. What's with you and Emmett? We don't need to know that information. Tell me about fun. Tell me about Parker. Do you know anything about Officer Danny Parker? Parker? Just another soul lost to the twin vices of booze and despair. I've asked him to tell me his story for my column. Sort of a cautionary tale, but he's never in the mood to talk to me. Uh, she's not going to help us. Keep fighting the good fight. We will. Da, 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 da. Oh man, come on. This, these walking actions. Okay, you can only walk back there. You can't walk along the street. Across the street. Majestic Arms. Okay, here we go. <clears throat> oh man, you can't jaywalk. Barbershop closed. We can go and have a look anyway. No time for a haircut now. Even if they were open. Besides, they'd probably cut it too short. What is with kids and wanting short hair these days? I don't know. <laughs> hey, Doc. How's the room? It's a little cleaner than I would have imagined for a depression era flop house. How are your investigations going? I saw Arthur. I saw him. Who? My grandpa. On his streetcar for just a second. Doc, we gotta find him. Why? Trixie thinks she's got something that could put Kid away, but Artie's the only one who can tell her for sure. I guess he's kind of her tutor or something. Ah, so that's the connection. When your grandfather disappeared from Hill Valley for two months, the bond between him and Miss Trotter was severed, eventually leading to a timeline in which Trixie lost the nerve to betray Tannen. Yeah? We've got to find your grandfather. Uh, have you seen Any him? sign of Artie? Haven't spotted him yet. Uh, Parker's. Are you sure Tannen's supposed to be arrested by Officer Parker? The guy's a mess. Mess or no mess, I'm absolutely certain that Parker's your man. In fact, it's his arrest of Tannen that will eventually lead him to becoming Hill Valley's chief of police. That seems <laughs> really unlikely. Sorry about that. <laughs> uh, do we do we need to know this? We don't really need to know. That. Oh, okay. Just Where'd you park the DeLorean? I hid it in the DeSoto lot. Nobody's buying cars these days, so it should be safe in there. Okay, I better get back to fixing history. Be careful, Marty. Okay, well, which way did the bus... The bus went down the street, I thought. Oh, we can't go in the cinema. And we can't go there. Obviously, uh, oh, hello. Could Arthur be in there? 
it's way too dark and crowded for me to tell. I got anything? Nothing really at all. What to do, what to do? Oh, flop house. Oh, that's, uh, yeah, okay. Mike, you're just in time. Uh, what you doing? What's the story with the little car and all this equipment? Einstein and I are conducting a few experiments with this one quarter scale model to work out a few hitches in my planned demonstration at the Hill Valley Expo in a couple of months. A radio controlled car? No. Well, yes, but that'll be so much more than that. It will amaze the world. Hmm. So, uh, thanks for watching Einstein while I've been... Uh, away. It's been a pleasure. He's proven to be a surprisingly willing test subject. It's almost as if he's been working with me for years. More like decades. How have you been, Emmett? I know I haven't seen you in a couple of months. I'm great, and I owe it all to you. Really? Yes. That argument I had with my father during our jet drill experiment gave me the incentive to finally quit that dreary court job. I've committed myself full-time to a life of science. Aha! Got it! Got what? I'll show you. Ready to go, Einstein? Watch this! When this baby hits 23 miles per hour, you're gonna see some serious cow flop. <laughs> A hover car! Einstein! No! Get him out of there! Not to worry. I've got a fail-safe eject mechanism around here someplace. See? Nothing to worry about. Nothing. I'll go see if I can find something to help. Or someone. <laughs> it's locked. Guess I'll have to find some other way to rescue Heine. Oh no, not another task. Jesus. Uh, okay, let's find out what she Edna. Asked. What? Right. What's with you and Emmett? What's going on with you and Emmett? The last time I saw you, you seemed to be kind of interested in him. That was before I belatedly realized that his agreement to host my Stay Sober Society was a clever ruse to ferry barrels of hooch to his so-called laboratory. Sorry about that. Now his very presence fills me with an <laughs> irrepressible urge to pick at his philosophical and intellectual foundations with every tool in my vocabulary. So you're not dating? Dating? <laughs> the mere thought of romantic involvement with that undisciplined techno-anarchist is preposterous. Good. <laughs> Jesus. Uh... Whatever happened with that speakeasy arsonist? I was about to ask you the same question. Me? Don't play coy with me. I may not have any journalistically acceptable proof, but I know you had a hand in Carl Sagan's daring escape from the authorities. <laughs> Hey, 
I got a hot lead for you. Oh, what is it? What we got? <laughs> Young scientist strands dog on courthouse roof. What? Look over there. Oh, for goodness sake. Mr. Brown. Please, Miss Strickland, not now. Can't you see I've got a rather delicate situation on my hands at the moment? My trial run... Trial run? Public hazard, I call it. And I'm sure my editor will agree. And really, I ask you... I'm oh, don't you start on the to lecture me Come here, Heine! Exactly. Exactly. Please, please, to get him down? Watch Come on, boy. Don't Fire don't escapes this way. Oh, How can I be a member of... Looks like I'm gonna need more help. Stand up for the safety of all. Well then, if you refuse to give me a statement, I just won't tell your side of the story. Or oh, damned exasperating woman. It's okay, Einie. The bad lady's gone. Come on down. Ah, oh, it's walked me all the way over here again. Ugh. Can I do that? That'd be a really cool shortcut. Ah, I changed my mind. Right. I must have to go back into the club. Oh, God. I really do hope I don't have to do that thing again. Oh, I really don't want to have to do that thing again. Alright, let's just doubly make sure we can't walk along the street. Definitely? Is it just definitely blocked? Yeah, okay, it's not just me then. Oh, I forgot, the, the mouse does walk in as well, doesn't it? Yay! Yeah, it definitely can't go that way. Did you did follow the arrow on the floor? Please no. Please no. Please no. Oh god. Welcome back, sir. You gonna let me straight in? Yes! No stupid password thing. Looks like Parker's still parked. Cool. Right, okay. So, um Boy <laughs> I need to sneeze again, I'll be right back. All right. Oh, I accidentally pressed out. <laughs> out we go. And now let's really annoy the doorman. Um, excuse me. I forgot Welcome my Welcome back, sir. Welcome back, sir. And when you get down, looks like Parker's still parked. He's a grumpy bastard again. You talk to matches, and he'll... is matches the guy that answers the door. So the only real things you can interact in here with is that that the sheet music oh what we're we gonna change wait what's that oh I don't care seek oh I see I can choose secret song aha Maybe there's some evidence in the song itself. Or a hint or something. They're not meant for blaring love. <laughs> oh man, I read the wrong bit in that song. Oh, wait. Uh, okay. Danny, Danny, Danny. We got words, man. Danny. You. You. Tell me your troubles. So about those troubles. Uh, I'm not really in the mood to talk about them right now. I just want to drink and listen to Trixie. 
Shouldn't you be arresting Tannen? For what? Well, for running a speakeasy, for one thing. Well, I like this speakeasy. So, so there. there. Besides, okay. if I arrested him, I'd have to arrest you and me and everyone else in here. And that's just way too much work for one little cop like me. All right, chill out. See you later, Danny. I'll be here. All right. Okay, well, that didn't work. Oh. This guy. Oh, that's Kid. I wonder if we need to talk to Kid again. Hey, Kid. Hey, Kid. What is it, Squirt? What is it, Squirt? About your operation. It's good to see you doing so well. The boys down in Sacramento were starting to get worried. With all due respect, the boys down in Sacramento can bite me. When that creepy Sagan guy burned down my speakeasy, did the Sacramento boys lift a finger to help me back on my feet? No. Well, and when that weasel accountant McFly went and blabbed to the feds, did the Sacramento boys help me get rid of the evidence? No. But I had to put three more cops on my payroll to pull that one off. Okay, but... But nothing. When you get back to Sacramento, you let J.J. Valenti know that Kid Tannen expects a little more respect for his efforts in the future. Understand? No problem, kid. Uh, well, whatever we How long have you and Trixie off. been going out? You mean knocking boots? Oh, about a year now. That's a long time. Tell me about it. I keep meaning to dump her for a newer model. But then she starts singing at me, and I remember why we got together in the first place. Love? Free nightclub entertainment! <laughs> That's a nice place you got here. Ain't it? I picked out all the statuary myself when I was traveling through Greece. I can tell. It's got that tan and touch. Thanks. What's that wall of fame all about? That, my tiny friend, is where I pay tribute to fallen foes. Cut short in the prime of life before I had a chance to cut it short myself. <laughs> They're the guys you've whacked. Whacked? Uh, rubbed out. Not many legally actionable sense, no. Whacked. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's enough. Of See you, kid. Here. Yeah, whatever. Oh, I'm dawdling around today. Oh, I need to blow my nose again. All right, so, yeah, I've been... So about around. those troubles. Uh, I'm not really in the mood to talk about them right now. I just want to drink and listen to Trixie. Right, so I reckon it's something to do with Trixie, definitely. See you later, Danny. I'll be here. He's probably got a sweet spot for her. Um, but obviously going straight for the secret song isn't going to work. So, angry song, I don't care. A sad song. Oh, a s oh hello, there's more. A happy song, right, let's try that. Ain't we got fun. Fun. Well, that's making him happy, so let's see if he wants to chat now. Hey, Danny. Danny. You! Tell me your troubles. So about those troubles. Troubles? Ha! <laughs> I don't want to talk about all that depressing stuff. I want a party! Whee! <laughs> Alright. See you later, Danny. <laughs> I'll be here. Oh. Sorry, I've had to keep cutting. I've got hay fever. Hey, back off, kid. I'm trying, trying to entertain, entertain some him. people here. Back off, kid. Sorry, dude. I accidentally clicked. Right, what else we got? So, angry song. Sad, oh, sad song. He's not in the mood. Maybe he'll be in the mood after a sad song.
This is a nice song. Why does it make him sad? Maybe. Hey, Danny. Danny. You. Me. So about those troubles. It all started on uh, uh, June 14th. Oh, shit. He's I was up. chasing down one of Tannen's boys when this, uh, this car straight out of Buck Rogers popped up out of nowhere and ran my car off the road. No. Then later, I, I lost track of a witness. The poor schlub hasn't been heard from since. That wasn't your fault. And then, to top it off, I somehow managed to lose custody of an 80-year-old arsonist. When not one, but two of those godforsaken space cars showed up and whisked him away. <laughs> That's unbelievable. <laughs> That's what the chief said. Demoted me on the spot. My family sent me to a psych psychiatrist because they thought I was seeing things. Aww. And worst of all, my gal Betty left me because she thinks I'm a bad provider and a head case. <laughs> Betty? As in Jennifer's grandma Betty? <laughs> what? What? Listen, Danny, it's really important that you get back together with Betty. Oh, that ship sailed. What the heck with her? I got a little secret that'll set me up with women twice as classy as Betty will ever be. You've got a secret? What is it? I don't think I should tell you. When I'm sad like this, I don't think straight. But listen. Yes? I like you. You're my new best friend. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, the See secret you later, song. Danny. I'll be here. I bet you will. The secret song! The secret song! Come on! At least this bit will be done. Oh my god, I felt like I've wasted like a whole hour on this stuff. Uh, secret song. I'm getting excited now. Now I'm doing something. Have we got to get um, Einstein off the roof next. <laughs> so no one can hear. Danny likes my singing voice. Come on, Danny, 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 Danny. Danny. You. You. So about that secret. Oh yeah, my secret. Well, you're my pal, so I can tell you, but don't let it get out. I've been working for Tannen for over a month now. Hey, what? what? It's true. All I gotta do is look the other way while evidence is getting destroyed or a truck full of gin is coming across the county line and Tannen makes sure an extra bunch of bills makes their way into my pay envelope. Great deal, huh? How has that got to do anything with um, getting girls? I swear he said it was to do getting girls. Um, I'm a bad guy, so yes. Yeah, if you're a rat. What's the problem? People need to drink, right? As long as no one's getting hurt, why shouldn't Daniel J. Parker make a few bucks on the action? Uh, what about... But people are getting hurt. Kid's a killer. Ah, that's just rumors and circumnavigational evidence. <laughs> Although, that wall of fame is pretty spooky. Oh, God. I've made a horrible mistake. I thought if I could get my hands on some money, that Betty'd take me back. Aww. But when she finds out what I've done, she'll never even talk to me again. <laughs> what have I done? <laughs> uh, stop drinking. You know, drinking that much is really bad for your health. What are you, my mother? More like future grandson-in-law. What? Never mind. I guess now I know why you won't arrest Tannen. You're working for him. Bingo! Come on, Danny. Pull yourself together. It's not so bad. Not so bad? I'm a corrupt cop who's lost his only chance at true love. How's that not so bad? <laughs> 
Um, oh, we haven't got anything we can say else to him. So hang in there, Danny. Oh God. Oh God. Oh no. Right. Okay. So we obviously got to help Danny get back together. That's Trixie. That's him. How comes you're not breaking my legs by now by hearing all what Danny said? Um, right, I'll see you next time, guys. I think that's about it for now. Take it easy. Be good to yourself. And, well, as you can see, I'm out the door. Well, guys, thanks for watching. Please like and share. I think this was a bit particularly a long one. So I think next time I'm going to crop it down a bit and just skip to the main uh, storyline to keep it nice and quick for you guys. Anyway, take it easy. Be good to yourself. And I'll see you next time. I'm out. And you know what? Oh, that's a cool. <laughs> there we are.